There we guys here, but Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 93, The Embers of One for All. And this chapter kind of takes a step in another direction, and it kind of goes in towards like All Might's inner mind or his inner world as resolving his will. Like it starts off with those first three panels, at first you really don't know what it was about. Then at the end of the during like the middle of the chapter, we see All Might covering the ember, the flame. You realize at the beginning of the chapter is actually that is all might was his, his mind his inner mind and him it's this it's him protecting like what he stands for and him pushing his limits and not 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 like what can i say not 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 dying but not giving up kind of yeah not giving up in a way and he, he remembering like his master saying like Shumaru Nana is saying, I guess, I assume, we assume that Shumaru Nana who is talking to All Might in, in like those little like inner mind worlds and she's basically saying, All Might, remember, remember why, you, why you've done this, why you're pushing your limits, you want to become that symbol, a symbol for the world, for everybody, to someone they can look up to and someone they can trust and someone to make like people, let people know that they can't do whatever they want and just the stuff that we got with, with one like all for one like, explaining all you like we got like a we got a confirmation in this chapter basically what happened when all my gave deku the the one for all all for one basically is going to explain that the power you're using now is not true the true one for all it's it's the embers the the lineage left of it like the little fire left like if you're like putting embers it's like the embers when you're taking out when the fire when the fire out of a fire pits they you take out the fire like that it's like the embers are left just a little part is burning and we get to see like all my the snow going around and we see all my like just in his like normal like skinny form and he's and he's and for he's naked i don't know why he's naked but he's naked and he's just covering it it's just something to say like all might he he isn't giving up yet and that he knows that his time is is really close to dying, but he has something to do. That that something is to make sure Deku goes in the right direction. To make sure the hero world or the world isn't put in corruption. He wants to make sure like his symbol is carried on to Deku. And there's something very interesting on why I want to talk about later. Why Shimaru Nana gave All Might the you know, one for all, and why All Might gave Deku the one for all. There, it's very different things. It's very kind of like opposite and very tragic on why they both gave their powers to their predecessors. Anyways, we see Tether begins off. We see All Might like at his limits. Grand Tino even mentions this. All for one, you know, all for one, pretty much like he's gonna, he's floating up. He's like ready to like just, just, just like kill All Might. And then we finally get, finally. We get to see Endeavor and the other heroes come and help All Might. And Endeavor's pissed. He's like, What are you doing, you pathetic, you little shit? And then we get like even a nice flashback. Kind of like, like a, I don't know, like a flash, like a mini flashback. Why, like, Endeavor, like, basically the scene where All Might debuted, Endeavor looked up to All Might. Not really looked up, but like, he, he was able to become this strong because of All Might. And it never was like, I see you like this is this, this is despair. How could you all might? And it's really really good. So basically, we think that Endeavor is the cost shit, but then really Endeavor's true person being there with his sidekick. I don't know if you know the name of the sidekick, but he looks pretty cool. But maybe you know that is to save all the heroes. We see Ma Mount Lady get saved, the civilians. So now all might again can go I guess full force without any worries. And then we get to see some stuff with Grand Trino and Shimaru Nano. I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. I want I want to kind of discuss at the end. And then we, the, the boy, I was like, oh no. When she when all for one is like, I'm done talking. Let's do this. He like, he just says all these quirks, all just jumble together, and he summons like this gigantic, like muscular, like there's like rocks in, and he's like, let's go. I like, I am really sure you are. He's like he goes on to explain that I know you've passed one for all to Deku and I and you're gonna fail the sensei. I'm gonna kill you right now and you're due to the sensei. I'm gonna make you this it's gonna be done. You won't be able to, to train Deku to make him learn your ways. I'm gonna kill you right now. 
and then maybe she just goes in for the final punch and then we get to see All Might use Impact Reversal. I don't know if we ever seen that. I, I don't know what that's about. But yeah, the impact basically reversed and then we go back to we go back to the inner world and stuff. And then basically All Might's like He's, he's remembering Shimano Nana as ever before. He's remembering Shimano Nana's message. Because like, maybe before she died, or maybe, maybe before she gave All Might the, the power of one for all. It was like, remember what you fight for to be that symbol. So be that symbol. Everyone is watching. You have to win this, All Might. We kind of didn't. That part where it, it kind of recaps that everyone's watching and All Might's standing there with one muscular arm. Like, I thought, I felt that was like the one part. It wasn't like it was ahead of the chapter because it's kind of repetitive. We already got that last chapter. With everyone's watching and that uh, had a really good effect last chapter. Then this chapter I didn't really feel it because like it, it just happened last chapter and like uh, I, I get it, I get it. everyone's watching. It's dramatic, but we, we like we still had that from last chapter. So whatever. And then basically we get to see All Might just say, "I will not die. I have something to do." And All for One's like, "Huh? Even I did not calculate you going this far." And All Might just, I'm just like knocks one for all and that's basically the end of the chapter pretty much and i i don't think all for one is still knocked i don't think that all for one is going to be defeated after the chapter because this is kind of like the first time no the second time this would be the second time that one for all has been hit hard by all my i don't i, I don't but i don't like ugh, it's hard you know it's hard to think like what's going to happen with all for one like He's, like people, a lot of people think that he's gonna kill All Might this chap, like this battle. But I personally don't think that All Might is gonna die. Like personally, die. I think what's gonna happen is that he's gonna push All for One where he has to maybe retreat. And basically, because All Might pushed his limits so far that he won't be able to like, he won't be able to be here anymore for me for a long, long time. And that's gonna have a huge effect on the world, the hero world, because that's a symbol. And the symbol of peace is like detained and you can't do anything. I feel that's gonna like it's gonna lead towards a nectar where like there's gonna be more uprising like villains. We'll probably get some stuff with like Deku in the class because we haven't we haven't had, we haven't had that stuff in a while. But I don't think this arc's over for a long time. I think it's gonna be happening in a while where we're gonna get like all might in the hospital for a long time. Maybe you won't be able to use the muscular form anymore. And that's where we really get to see him and Deku train. I, I actually like that. Like this is a lot where All Might can't, like, we can't fight anymore. This will like, probably be like All Might's final battle. Yeah, All Might's final battle. And he knows that, like, after the, like he's in the hospital, that he has to get serious with Deku. Because he has been really serious, like, become, making Deku like, the next symbol. But yeah, that's all. I'm really excited where this is gonna go. I, I think I don't think All for All for One is out for the count. Back when I said before with Shimaro Nana, the reason, like, I kind of got from this chapter, the reason why Shimaro Nana passed on her one for all to All Might, because All Might was saying the, 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 the people need a symbol of peace, of what a hero is, and that is why Shimaro Nana gave all for one, like, gave all, one, all for one to All Might. But then the reason All Might gave it to Deku is it's, it's very different, like, the opposite side, what I understand. Because after All Might got the one, all one for all, and became this great hero, everyone just wanted to be a hero, and they want to be a hero for the fame. They all want to be All Might. They all want to be this symbol, this great hero everyone looks up to. And in a way, like the way people want to beca became a hero, it became corrupted. It didn't. People didn't want to be heroes to be a true hero to like save someone's heart. Like what happened last? Well, they say last time to save someone's heart, not just themselves, but the heart as well. And it, it, it like little by little, like I'm kind of why we had that stain arc. Why stain like he wanted heroes, like actual legitimate heroes, who will do anything not for the fame, but for the people and and to save like the inner, like their hearts and what I said, the hearts and stuff. So I like and then All Might gave it to Deku because Deku's not like that. Deku, he's a legitimate hero who. Who doesn't want to become the fame, doesn't want to become the symbol, he just wants to be a hero, a cool hero that everyone like looks up to. And like the, as, like the scenario, what I'm saying is the scenarios are opposite. Like when Shimaru Nana gave to All Might, Shimaru Nana, like though in their time, there wasn't like a symbol of peace where people wanted to become a hero. There was like very few heroes, and there wasn't heroes who were strong enough who people looked up to. And now 
in All Might's world, when he gives a Deku, it's it's the complete opposite, where everyone just wants to be like All Might, and some people are corrupted with the fame and stuff, and All Might's looking for somebody, for, All Might saw in Deku that somebody who really wanted to be, they're both the same reason why All Might and Deku, like, kind of, why they both caught one for all, like, how one of the driving passion that isn't selfish and is looking out for everyone around them. Like Deku was that he moved his own feet for himself, he didn't think about it, he just did what was right, and all might wanted to become that symbol of peace. It's just that the scenarios are very, very different. Like all might could have given it to any of the heroes out there. Shimano Nana probably couldn't give it to all the heroes out there. So it's it's you, I don't it's just very different. It's, it's very interesting the way they like if you were th if you think about it, it's it's very different. I, I hope like I I you understood what I'm trying to say. I was kinda of rambling on there, but anyways. That has been chapter 93, the embers of, of one for all. Really in-depth chapter. Some great stuff with All Might's inner world and just the, the, his dying will. His dying it just it's so sad to see. But then at the same time, you're really rooting for All Might. Okay, anyways, this has been Epic Guys. I'll see you next week for Boku no Hero Academia, chapter 94.